Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com, and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the EDL firmware on any OnePlus phone using the Oppo Flash tool. So as you might be aware, till OnePlus 9 series, you could use the MSM tool, but beginning from the OnePlus 10 series, the MSM tool is no longer available, all thanks to Oppo. But beginning with the OnePlus 11 series, you could now once again use the Oppo Flash tool to get this job done. But what is the need for flashing the EDL firmware? Well, the most important need is if your phone is currently hard break or even soft break or even in a boot loop, then you can flash the EDL firmware to get your device back to life. Apart from that, if you want to do a downgrade from let's say Android 14 to Android 13, then you can flash the Android 13 EDL firmware and the downgrade will get complete. Likewise, if you are currently on a custom ROM and want to go to the stock ROM, then again, you could use the EDL firmware to get this job done. Do note that if your phone is currently working, you might also be able to use the Fastboot Enhance tool, but it's quite a risky approach. In Fastboot Enhance, you have to extract the payload bin file and then flash the individual partition file via the Fastboot command. But before that, you will have to remove a few logical partition. And then after that, you have to flash and remake those logical partition as well, which might lead to quite a few issues. So it's not recommended to use the Fireboot Enhance tool until and unless you have complete knowledge of this tool. So that is why we will not use this tool and instead we will use the Oppo Flash tool. Again, I'm repeating this tool will only work beginning with OnePlus 11 series. Till OnePlus 9, you have to use the MSM tool regarding which I have already made quite a few videos. You may have a look at that for OnePlus 10 series. As of now, there is no way out. But with OnePlus 11 and 12 series or even the OnePlus Open, you may use this guide. So with that said, if possible, please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to disable the driver's signature enforcement. This is required so that you will be able to install the EDL drivers on your PC. If you don't turn it off, then Windows will not let you install those drivers. So you may refer to my guide and get this job done via the two methods. The first one is just using the CMD command, the single command, or you may boot your phone to the recovery, boot your PC to the recovery mode and then go to the troubleshoot, advanced option, start of seconds and then press the 7 or the F7 key and this will turn off the signature verification check. Once that is done, you will then have to install the Qualcomm USB drivers. They are also known as the HS USB QD Loader 9008 drivers. So go to my guide and you may install via the automatic or the manual approach. It's highly recommended that you go with the automatic approach. Most of the PC nowadays are 64 bit. So download the exe file and launch it and then proceed ahead with the e instruction on the screen to install the drivers make sure to choose the wwa and dhcp and then it will install the drivers once the driver have been installed let's proceed ahead or if you are having any issues installing the driver then you may then you may go with the manual setup as well all of these steps are given in this guide but in most cases the manual the automatic will get the job done for you so once you have installed the drivers, your next course of action is to get hold of the Oppo Flash tool and apart from that the crack version as well. So download both of these tool. Let me now show you. So as of now this is the Oppo Flash tool and inside that you will get a couple of folders. For this video I will be using the Flash tool version 5.5.5. .5. Please make sure to note down the version which you are using. It will come in handy later on. So this is the version which I am using. So download the Oppo Flash tool entire folder. Inside this, I'll be using this one. And apart from that, you will have to download the Oppo Crack EDL tool as well. So this is the Crack EDL tool. This is the files as you could see. So with this, we have got both the tools. Moving on, you will now have to download the EDL firmware for your phone. You may get the same from my guide as well. If the your phone or the firmware is missing, you may let me know in the comments. I will upload the firmware as well. In my case, I'm using the OnePlus 11 firmware and as you could see, this is the firmware, EDL firmware for my phone, OnePlus 11. The region does not matter as of now in the EDL firmware case. The region is not a cause of concern. So this is the EDL firmware, the flash tool and the EDL crack version which you have got. Once you have got the firmware, you will now have to download the MITM proxy and the proxy fire. So for that, get hold of this software package. This is the software package. Go there and you will find the proxy file setup, MITM proxy and the Qualcomm driver package. All these three files. So 
get it from my guide and this link so once you have got it make sure that you have all these four folders the edl firmware the oppo flash tool inside which we will be using the flash tool version 5.5 then the oppo edl crack and the software and driver inside which you will get the mitm and the proxy setup once you have got all these four folders let's move ahead with the next step so first of all you will have to install the proxy fire so let's launch the proxy fire setup will be in the software and drivers launch the proxy fire setup exe file click on yes in the prompt that appears click on next agree to the terms and condition again click on next next and hit next and install proxy fire will not be installed please make sure to uncheck launch proxy fire it's extremely important you will not have to launch it now uncheck the launch proxy fire and minimize it after that you have to install the mit in proxy so launch the setup file click on yes in the prompt click on next next install again as before make sure to uncheck launch mit in proxy and minimize the window you don't have to launch mit in or proxy fire as of now leave them unchecked once you have installed both of them you will now have to install the qualcomm driver package as well so simply go to this folder and launch the install.batch file and it will be installed onto your pc which will take just a few seconds you will get a few prompt just click on yes in each of the prompt and as you could see install is now complete hit enter to continue once you have installed the drivers let's move ahead and now comes the most important part okay you might also get this would you like to install the de device software so make sure to click on yes install and once that is done our task stands complete and now comes the most important part so first of launch the proxy fire so now go to the start menu and search for proxy fire and click on open you might get a prompt that there is an update available it's optional as of now let me skip the update and the proxy fire should now be opened if it's not shown here then you may open it from start menu as well as you could see we are now in the proxy fire so let me shorten its size and first and foremost you will have to go to the profiles then go to proxy server and click on add and in the address type in the local address 127.0.0.1 and in the port type in 8080 and under protocol you have to choose the https protocol and after that click on okay again click on yes then click on okay and again click on okay once that is done again go to profile then go to proxification rules and select the default rule then change the proxy https to the direct and once that is done click on add and now in the name let's name it flash tool and version is 5.5.5 let's name it flash tool 555 for the ease of convenience then click on browse under the application and you now have to choose the flash tool version 5.5.5 so let me give it a second this is the flash tool folder so 5.5.5 and choose the download tool exe file inside the flash tool folder and click on open and we have uploaded the file.exe let me show you once again i am talking about this file so inside the flash tool this is the flash tool which we have got i am using the 5.5.5 so go there and you have to choose the download tool dot exe file so upload the file in the proxy fire and as you could see we have added the file over here in the proxy wire once that is done now you will have to select the action go to the action tab and choose proxy https and that is the local address and click on okay once that is done again you have to click on okay and the proxy file is now added so now you have to set up the oppo flash tool so for that launch the crack version of the oppo flash tool so go to the crack folder which is this one and launch the batch file and that's it it will automatically open and close and then it will automatically launch the mitm proxy as well as you could see it has launched the proxy window over here so launch the proxy we haven't manually open it instead you have to just launch the oppo edl crack and it will automatically launch this file once this is open you may now minimize all these files and now your next course of action is to launch the oppo flash tool make sure to launch the same version of the flash tool which you have added in the proxy fire in our case it was a version 5.5.5 .5 .5 .5.
so i will launch that same version via the download tool exe file again i am repeating it should be of the same version which you have added to the proxy fire in the account and password you can type in anything of your choice let me add 1234 1234 verification 1234 sign in and you should now be inside the flash tool as you could see and now you have to go to the software package and from here click on import and choose the edl flash edl firmware click on select folder it will now verify click on confirm and it will now verify the package as well so the firmware has been added now click on flash next to the required firmware so let me click on the flash button and it will now verify the firmware integrity check which should take around a couple of minutes at the very max but usually the process takes only a few seconds so let's just wait for that to happen and then we will boot our phone to the edl mode so in the meantime make sure to connect one end of the usb cable to your pc but do not connect the other end to your phone leave the other end blank as you could see the other end is not on my phone moreover your phone should be powered off if that's well and good click on stop flashing then enable default nv and click on start flash and now with the phone powered off press and hold the volume up and volume down keys and while holding both the keys connect your phone to the pc via usb cable so let me do that and it should now show 3% as soon as you see that you may let go of the keys and it might get stuck at 3% for a few seconds that is completely normal and nothing to worry about the flashing will soon start so as soon as you see the 3% mark you may re release the key and the flashing will then continue as you could see the flashing has started and the entire flashing takes up to around 6 to 7 minutes so let's just wait for that to happen so guys the flashing is now complete as soon as you get this prompt your phone should automatically boot to the os and this might take a few seconds as you could see our phone is now booting to the os do note that as opposed to the msm tool the oppo flash tool will not unlock the boot will not relock the bootloader the bootloader will remain unlocked as you could see i am still get, getting the orange state that is in fact quite great because otherwise i would then have to unlock the bootloader once again which will once again do a factory reset so th this only saves us our time so with that said if you want to relock the bootloader then you have to do so manually and for that you will have to use the fastboot in the fastboot mode use the flashing fastboot flashing lock command or fastboot om lock command to relock the bootloader but that's not recommended you may simply leave it unlocked to be on a safer side and the first boot up might take up a few seconds as you could see we are now inside the os and you will now set up the phone and use it as before so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching